Hello YouTube. Welcome to the first part of simulation of induction motor in MATLAB. Let's get started. First go to the library browser. Search for asynchronous machine. Drag and drop this here. Now we need a three phase voltage source. In order to measure the current and voltage of this circuit, we need a three phase voltage measurement block. Now we can connect these two. And the output of this to the motor. All right. Now let's look inside the motor. Inside the motor, you can choose the type of the rotor. Let's select the squirrel cage and we can select a preset uh, model. Let's select this one here, which is of 200 horsepower, 575 volt, 60 hertz, and the RPM of the motor will be 1785. Select OK. We need to provide some torque to this motor. So select a constant block here. Now we need to provide the reference, electrical reference or ground over here. Go to the library, search for ground. Go to the down here, you will find this ground block over here. Select this, connect to this. Okay. Now in order to observe the output of the motor, we need a bus selector so that we can select some particular output, in this case, the speed of the rotor. We can move, delete these two and OK. We need a scope to observe the output wave and even before the speed in this will be in radian per second so we have to convert this radian per second into rpm for that you need a gain block the value of the gain will be 30 over pi okay now we need to set the voltage source voltage to 575 as per the motor requirement And, fi and finally we need a scope to observe the current and voltage in the circuit. And uh, lastly a power GUI block. All right, now we are ready to simulate this model. As we expected, the final speed output is almost what we have seen into the input setting of the motor. Let's see the current and voltage. Initially, we expect there will be some disturbance into the current and later it will get stabilized. Let's see it in close up. So you can see here 0 0.05 second the current is getting stabilized and after 0 0.1 second the current is completely stabilized and you can see the voltage waveform over here as well. Okay, so this was the simulation of a three phase induction motor in Simulink. Now in the next part of this video we are going to discuss about how to control the speed of the synchronous motor using the VFD methods and other things. Alright, see you in the next one.